my dear all subscribers. This is the third part of the chapter Nelson Mandela, a long life, a long walk to freedom. Here in this, Nelson Mandela has himself written the autobiography and he has given his own life event in which he has described some little bit problems of the basic discrimination or about the colored person or discolored person. Please like my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Please be stay with me each and every time. I will give the more and more videos, more explanation. I will be there to help. And please don't forget to press the bell out. If you are new in my channel, please do the subscription and be there to be alert. So today we will start the chapter from oral comprehension check. After that, we will start from the page 21st of NCRT book, first part. In life, every man has twin obligations. Obligations to his family, to his parents, to his wife and children. And he has an obligation to his people, his community, his country. Writer is saying, Nelson is saying that every time every man is having a problem. He is there to survive the problem, sorry, to survive the life. But he is having the obligation, the negligence, obligations are duty. That they are having the responsibility to do the duty for his family, for his parents, wife, children, etc. So, he is also there to give the duty also to the people of the city, of the country and the community, the whole community, the whole country. So, he is there, the countrymen, the people of that American country, these are the family members of Nelson Mandela. So he is saying that as the each people is giving the duty for his family and family members, parents, wife, husband, son. So I will be also there with them. I will also will have the duty for my country. In a civil and human society, each man is able to fulfill those obligations according to his own inclinations and abilities. But in a country like South Africa, it was most impossible for a man of my birth and color to fulfill both of those obligations. Everywhere, in every country, there are the responsibilities, duties to do for the favor of his family members and the parents. But this is not allowed to do in that country, in South America, South Africa, because it was almost impossible for the men of my birth means just like me as my age and also the color is there to fulfill both of those obligations nobody is there to complete their duties because they are having a different birth they are having a different color of that country in south africa a man of color who attempted a life as a human being was punished and isolated in such africa a man who tried to fulfill his duty to his people was inevitably raped from his family and his home and was forced to live a life apart, a tried existence of secrecy and rebellion. They are not having the sense to live with the family if they are the discoloring people, if they are not having the color of the native of that country or that city. The human beings, who, those who didn't dare to live their lives, they attempted if their lives to live, then they are isolated, they are captured and they are punished. Even then they are not allowed to live the life with the family members. They are apart from their, they are apart from their houses and they are forcefully live their life apart from the family members. In the twilight existence, in the starry, in the dark glittering existence, means the home which will be made up of secrecy and the rebellion thinking will be there means the action of resisting authority if the rebellion if the action will be there to resist them to survive the duties for the family members then they are captured and they are not there to allow to give the duties i didn't know in the beginning choose to place my people 
over my family. But in attempting to serve my people, I found that I was prevented from fulfilling my obligation as a son, brother, or father, and husband. In starting, I didn't have the meaning such type of duties to serve my family. But whenever I saw these type of people who were doing the duty to serve, who are there to live the life with their family pa parents, numbers, so I also have the thinking to live with my family. Nelson is saying that I was also there to be a good son, a husband and brother also. I was also there to give the duties, the obligations, all the responsibilities which we were having in the form of father also. I was not born with a hunger to be free. I was born free. Free in every way that I could not could know. Free to run in the fields near my mother's hut. Free to swim in the clear stream that run through my village. Free to roast me leaves under the stars and ride the broad bales of snowing moving pools. Now he is saying his story that I was not born with a hunger to be free. I was not there to live my life to be hunger. Means our family was having sufficient money, sufficient food. I was not there to die with hunger. Yes, he is saying that we were not having any obligations, any strictness. Mirajan, I was taken the birth in full freedom. He is also saying that I was knowing that I was free from each and every way. Everything was free for me. I can run everywhere in the open fields near my herd. I can also having the sense to live there freely to swim in the clear stream, the stream, clear river. So I didn't have any fear. I was free even to run through my whole village. He was also saying that I was also free to roast meanies. Roast means a maize plant. Maize is a kind of food, a grain. So he is saying I was free to roast, to take the meanies under the stars and the ride and road bags of the snowing bulls. I was also there to free to take the rides on the bulls and I was free to sit in the starlights and I was there to roast the maize and to eat. I didn't have any fear to live my life. As long as I obeyed my father and abided by the customs of my tribe, I was not troubled by the work of men or God. Just as Jesse means, as the time was passed, I was there to obey all the things to my father. I was not in any objection. I was abiding. I was obeyed. Obeyed. Every time, all the things were there to obey by me. So, he was not having any problems, all the obey, all the things were there which was customed by the tribe, by the families or by the rituals. He every time follows all the rules and he didn't have any problem, any pain through any law of any man, of any god. So, in his study, he was not knowing such type of problems and pains which were, which were suffered by the people of South Africa. I was not born with a hunger to be free. So he said that never it was happened with me. Each and every time I was feared to do all the things. It was only when I began to learn that my boyhood freedom was an illusion. When I discovered as a young man that my freedom had already been taken from me, that I had been to hunger for it. At first, as a student, I wanted freedom only for myself, the trans freedoms of being able to stay out at night. He is saying it was only when I began to learn. All the things were only happened in his childhood and boyhood. When he was in boyhood, when he was teenager, then the freedom was there. It was just the illusion. It was just the daydream. It was not confirmed. And when he was getting age, when he was growing up, he was discovering, he was saying that when I was a young man, I discovered, I served that the freedom, the freedom of my life had already, already been taken from me. My myself, I myself have taken my freedom. 
means my freedom was not there in my young age and then i started to be hungry i started to be starved i was not getting the food for this at first as a student he is saying that when i was a student he was he wanted freedom only for myself he was engaged to do only his work but he was not getting getting any freedom he was not getting any time but he was wanting to be free and the transitory freedom of being able to stay out at night but freedom was there but it was transparent it was not clear it was not there freedom was there but it was not looking like the freedom it was transparent and i was not there to allow to go outside because i was not having that time i stayed there only at night at home read what i please and go where i choose later as a young man in johannesburg i yearned for the basic and honorable freedom of achieving my potential of earning my keep of marrying and having a family the freedom had not been obstructed in a lot of ways why he was saying that he didn't find the freedom because he was bearing the responsibilities of serving the family when he was yeah he was there to go outside he whatever he is wanting to learn to read he does but this time he is saying that when i was in johannesburg that time i was young and after some time i think i thought that now i yearn for the basic and the honorable freedom my normal local or respectable freedoms was my potential was my responsibility because i was there to keep my life my family's responsibilities were there i got married and i was having the family and he was saying that that time i didn't get the freedom from that time and my lawful life was engaged in that period but then i slowly saw that not only was i not free but my brothers and sisters were not free i saw that it was not just my freedom that was curtailed but the freedom of everyone who looked like i did he is saying that only i was not engaged to do the work even my brothers and sisters were also not having the freedom they were also curtailed they were also reduced they were not there to take the freedom from that but the freedom of everyone each and every people were not there to be free the freedom who looked like it each and every one was like it as i was i was also having and bearing the responsibilities as the each and every one was that is when i joined the farikar national congress and that is when the hunger for my own freedom became the greater hunger for the freedom of my people that time he said that i decided to join the party i decided to join the national congress and that time i decided that i will serve my country my people i will be the great person to be the respected person i will be the person who will give the help to the people of the freedom to the people of my country he is also saying that when the hunger my own freedom then it will be also became the greater hunger for the freedom of my people if he is feeling that he is hungry from the food that this type of hunger should be converted in the hunger ness of the freedom of the people he is saying that i am not hunger by the food i am ha- having hungriness for the freedom of my people i want to give the freedom to them it was this desire for the freedom of my people to live their lives and dignity and self respect that animated my life that, that transformed a frightened young man into a bold boy that drove a law abiding attorney to become a criminal it was the desire this whose desire was this only the person named nelson mandela and this desire was for the freedom of the people of my people of south africa and i was having the sense 
because I was wanting to give the life to live there by my people. They should have the dignity. They should have the honor or self-respect, respect to any male to change, to convert their life according to their decisions. And he is also saying that he is not there. He is, will transform the change. He will transform the frightened or horrible people. Those who are not free and they, they are worth having. The frightenedness in their mind that they will caught and they will get the punishment. So I will be there in front of the frightened person to be the poor person to give the strength to them. That they are not the criminals. They are not there to break the laws. They didn't break the law. I will give the strength to them to live their lives. That turned a family loving husband into a man without a home. That forced the love, life loving man to live like a man. So he is saying that I will convert, I will turn them their minds. They will be the family loving husband. Not they will be the mom. They will have the feelings to give the strength, to give the life to their family persons. I will be there and the man will be there without home they are having not having any home because they are apart from there but i will give the life to force force the i will give the life to them and to live like the monk monk means the saints as saints live their lives freely without any obligations without any formalities so i will also give the life to them to live their lives freely I am no more virtuous or self-sacrificing than the next man, but I found that I could not every even enjoy the poor and limited freedoms I was allowed when I knew my people were not free. I am not selfish. He is saying that I am not too much virtuous, too much witnessed, too much witty person, but I will give the sacrifice. I will not be the same person just like the next man. If the, another person is there not to give the self sacrifice, I will not be like that. I will give sacrifice to myself to be the strength of my people. And as I find that, and I find that there is even joy, the poor, and limited freedom I was allowed when I knew my people were not free. Well, I will, I will know that my people are not free, then I will also will not enjoy the life. I will also could not even enjoy the poor and limited freedoms. I will also having the freedoms, I will not enjoy them. If my person is not living there freely, I will also not will have any freedom. Freedom is indivisible. The chains on any one of my people who were the chains of all of them. The chains on all of my people were the chains on me. Freedom is indivisible. Indivisible, unable to divide. It cannot be divided. Freedom is freedom. It cannot be divided. See the lines here clearly. The chains on any one of my people. The chains, the ropes, the chains which are bind and which are there among my people were the chains of all of them. It will not the chains of the customs or the authority. It will, it will be the chains of their own. The chains on all of my people were the chains on me. And the chains, those who are chains, having the chains of themselves, their chains will be of mine. Means if they are having the freedom of themselves, then the freedom of themselves will be on me. I will be the free person whenever they will get the freedom. Whenever they will have the chains on any one of my people, but the chains on all of them. They will get the chains, they all will have the chains, they will all have the awareness. I knew that the oppressor Oppressor must be liberated just as surely as the oppressed. A man who takes away another man's freedom is a prisoner of hatred. He is locked behind the bars of prejudice and narrow-mindedness. He is saying that he is knowing about the oppressor and it must be liberated. It must be under control. He is saying that 
as surely as the oppressed. He is the thing which is binded, which is found there. It should be oppressed by the oppressors. A man who takes away another man's freedom is a prisoner of him. If a person is taking away, if the person is stealing away the freedom of another one, then he will be the person of hatred. He will be the prisoner of that country. He is locked behind the bars of prejudice and no money. Prejudice, a strong dislike without any good reason. He will be prisoned. He will be bounded with the prejudice, with the strong disliking, and he will have the slap with the narrow mindedness. So, he will not be allowed to give any aboutness. I am not truly free if I am taking away someone else's freedom. He is giving the example that if I am stealing the freedom of anyone, then why should I be free? So, I will not also be free if I am stealing the freedom of anyone. If anyone is not free, then why, why I should be free? Just as surely I am not free when my freedom is taken from me. And I am saying this is surely that if your freedom will not be there, I will also will not have any freedom with me. The past and the oppressor alike are robot, robbed on their human. If the oppressor will be there, if the opponent will be there, the rival will be there, they will have their own robbedness. They will have their own snatchingness. Means their responsibility, their freedom, their humanity will also be robbed and stolen. It will not be allowed to give any allowance to live free. That's it. Thank you so much, children. And please, please stay with me.